You know what's going on, man. We back with another video. Started in the front, cuz had to let my little cat in, cat in the crib. But welcome, welcome. Come in, come in. Um, so the new thing that I had to tell y'all has arrived. Today is a later gym day. Whatever. Ooh, ooh. I'm about to show y'all right quick what I got. So, it's not like huge crazy news, but to me it means something because, you know, right now we're, uh, I guess, in a state of transitioning from bad to good. I guess you could say whatever. Just better living, bro. Just feeling better, you know, all of that overall. So, I got uh, a gym deal. Okay, I said it in the last video. I'm not the biggest guy. But when you really put your mind to something and you really like set the record straight in your head, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to do it and whatever comes with it, comes with it. So that's all I did. I said, all right, cool. I'm going to do it. Boom. Did it. And so I got the first thing from the company in today. So we're going to open it. I just wanted to... I wanted to open it with you guys because literally, I mean, bro, it's any anything is better than nothing, bro. So, and it's it's exciting to me. So, um, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have this. So, and this is cool. It shows that y'all support me because, bro, I know people look at me and don't be like, oh, he works out. No. One day, though, they will. But for now, we just going to keep trucking. So, I got a deal with this company called Caged. I can start doing like little try-on hauls and stuff, and then I'm gonna drop my PO box soon. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a new PO box because the PO box that I had um, previously just wasn't it wasn't really doing a job for me. Uh, it was it was weird, just a weird office. But I got a shirt from them. Oh my god. This is a big thing of pre-workout. I got strawberry lemonade. My code for uh, this company, I'm gonna have it in the link below in the description. So if you wanna use my code to get a percentage off, I don't know if it's 10 or 20%, I can't remember, but anything is better than nothing. I got that, I got the shirt, I got the pre-workout strawberry lemonade. And then we got this heavy weighted oversized hoodie i get everything i wear is in a large so it's the same as the shirt they both go together i'm gonna show y'all what it look like <sighs> okay yeah that's cool like okay i'm gonna work out in this today honestly because i'm like a kid i get something exciting that you know you work towards and you finally get it you get to celebrate so i'm wearing this today and don't join me about the plant. The plant is old. If I tell you how old the plant is, you're not gonna believe me. I'm just gonna tell you that the plant is old and it's my grandma's mom's and it's still alive to this day. I still feed it. It just, in the winter time, it gets really weak. Out of there, boy. Get your I talk to my cat like a regular dog though, cause people be saying how they scared of cats and you can't train cats. My cat is trained. He knows what's going on. He knows right from wrong. But that was the announcement. So welcome to the first clip of the video. Uh, the next clip, we're probably gonna be shopping at Target, TJ Maxx, something like that. Uh, we getting another hygiene run. Uh, this one's more in depth of like material, I guess you could kind of say. Get rid of all the socks, get rid of all the underwear type hygiene haul. So I'm gonna take y'all with me, but I am gonna go try this today. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Cause if not, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have it. So thank you for that. And I think it's dope that we get to do this. This is, we're a month in. Oh, and let me say, thank you for the 10K. I seen that this morning, I said, okay then. So shout outs to y'all. Thank you guys so much. We just hit 10, um, but yeah. We're gonna get all of this situated. My cranium is like breaking out crazy, but 
We ain't stunning it because we're going to go sweat. We're going to go get a good work in, good lifts in. Shout outs to Cage for the for the new uh, clothing, for my workouts. And this is just the beginning. We're a month and a couple of days into YouTube and we just hit 10K. So thank you guys for everything. Um, thank you for believing in me. And I'm about to go get my workout in. But next stop, y'all will probably see me at Target. Now that we all fresh and clean, what's going on, man? We got to do a day in a life. I look like I'm still asleep because it's still the morning time, but I woke up and chose to put that shit on. Some cozy shit, though, like some cool, cozy, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. We about to go shopping because we got to get more underwear, socks. It's time to get rid of everything. So, damn, boy, I still asleep. But we about to do all of that. And that's just going to be good vibes today. This is going to be a long video. So it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff in here going on. Yeah, I'm about to go get my life together. I'm about to get in the car and we about to do what we need to do. Um, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Make sure you open all your blinds up. If you got blinds in the crib, open them all up. Let the sun come in, feed the house, feed the plants. If you don't have plants, look into getting some plants. It's a nice day out today, man. Good vibes. We gotta get some stuff. I could order it, but it's just more fun when you go outside and go live a little bit of life and do stuff. You never know. It's so easy to just order it, but I ain't paid for no haircut and my hair to be done and stay in the crib. Are you crazy? I already don't be outside. The least I can do is go shop. Go spend a little bit of money on myself, you know? I'm trying to see something. Okay, yeah, we good then. My baby boy is fed. They good. Keys, phone, wallet, bliss stats. That's a check that y'all gotta get on. Y'all have to do that check every time. Phone, wallet, keys. Easy check. Oh, but you know what I don't have? Never mind. I do have it. I'm gonna give y'all a quick little breakdown, right quick. What's going on today? I can either go to Costco. Walmart, not even Walmart, I'm lying. Costco, Target, TJ Maxx. Normally I like to go to TJ Maxx and get all my stuff, so I'm probably gonna go there and get what I need to get. This is what you should be doing at least once a month or once every two months. Cause I mean, it's a quick little $30 that you can go spend it, so. I'm gonna see y'all there because y'all know I like to listen to my music. I could sit here and talk, but I like to listen to my music, especially in the morning, bro. My eyes still swollen. You gotta let my face calm down. But yeah, so we uh, we about to do that. It's a full long vlog, so everything is on tape. Yeah, yeah. So, about to get busy. All right, child, we made it to TJ Maxx, but I have to drop off a little device for my, for my little sister because she needed. She got to do like her schoolwork and stuff. Like my little sister, a hustler. I used to be scared to walk in places with the camera, but it's like, nigga, ain't nobody worried about you for real. Just got to find her little ass. Where's she at? I do look crazy carrying around this, this big ass Chromebook. What you about to do? No, what are you about to do with that? Schoolwork. Oh, uh, damn. What do I come to? Oh. Hi, I'm Ali. Oh, I'm Nate. Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How many oh, that's yeah. the one you be telling me about? Uh, oh, hope good things. Yeah, she like she said that you're her favorite. So yeah. Oh, yeah. so sweet. Like whenever I've had to call out for her or something like that, she always be like, I hope it's her. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice to meet it's you. Nice to meet she you talks too. about you a lot. Yeah, that's my love. That's my I love kid. You. Your what? That's my kid for real. Your kid. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, something like that, though. Something like that. We'll figure it out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It was nice to meet you. Though. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Yeah. Where you want me to come for? to? Huh? What are you coming for? Draws, socks. Oh. I had to take them with me so I can show them how to. But what what you said come to you to Just check come out? Come to me, um, enjoy so I can get you ten off. Did you get that thing yet? 
That promotion? Oh. I'm, um, we'll see. Is that the lady that is in charge of it? No, she's the coordinator who's going to be with me. Oh, okay. So just come over here for you to check me out? Yeah. They're I'll not going to say I'll nothing? Be, I'll be over there in like 10 minutes. So They're just not, like call me. They're not going to say nothing? Huh? They're not going to say nothing? Mm-mm. You're oh. right. You're technically my guardian. So it's like... Oh. It's like parents or something like that, but like you're literally. Yeah, facts. They're not, not going to say anything. Okay. Well, do you need something out of here? Um, I saw this really cute soap set. Bro, God damn, bro. <laughs> you're asking me a question. <laughs> Just get it when I check out. Okay. All right. I got to get glasses. Y'all see how quick my eyes be watering? Crazy. Okay, I got to remember. I done moved up in the game. I wear a large now. Another one. You can't beat this, bro. Quick, easy. So we'll get this box. This box. I might rock out with a Nike. Um, it's kind of childish, though, because it's, like, red. I don't really do red, for real. Like, not on, not on trials. Like, this one looks childish, like... Like I'm an 11 year old kid running around in like my khaki shorts again with neon with a neon shirt that's yellow and then blue shoes like tacky shit. That's just two packs. I need more though, bro. We're gonna get some socks. Uh, I do be rocking out with Calvin Klein, but I'm starting to think that my feet are genuinely too fat because the linen and the socks be too tight. And I be taking my socks off. You <gasps> know, um, what's it called? I be having like the little rings of death around my ankles. One white, and then another 12 pack of the black. Mmm, new tongue strapers. Yeah, might as well. Ooh. I don't even have that socks in the way. She's in a room, you Okay. I'm just gonna this. I know you can't even put that on there, but... Yeah, I will if you don't care. Can I pick out a few things for me, too? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your stuff? No. Why, you not? You don't want it? It's all the way over there. Oh. Where is it, like, for your apartment? Yeah. Oh. What time you get off? Tonight? I'm going to have my break at 1.30. Oh. That didn't answer my question, Chloe. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What time do you get <laughs> I off? I mean, I get off at both times. So yeah. what time do you get nine, off? Nine. Are you going to tap? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. That line is OD. We ain't waiting in no lines. So I be trying to tell people, we don't wait in no lines, bro. We work too hard to get here to sit in the line all day. Now, some things is necessary, but TJ Maxx line, I sit down on that computer and order what I need because I'm not sitting in no line. So boom, we got, and this is steel, bro. Like you go buy, put it like this, bro. I'm all for saving bread, bro. I'm not, I'm not the YouTuber that is going to be like, oh yeah. Like you got to buy all of this and that to look, nigga, my jeans is $5 with the Balenciagas on. You don't even know how we coming. You know what I'm saying? Like I really does this. I'm gonna show y'all everything we get when we get done shopping, but bro, all of this stuff in this big bag, you go listen to them other YouTubers or them other people that be trying to sell y'all a fake story. Save your money, bro. What? Who about to be spending all that cheese on some underwear? Sixty dollars for a four pack. I don't know why, but the city is jumping today. Like, and I don't stay in a city that's like popping, popping. Like, I'm from the city of like no man's land. Like, don't nobody. Don't nobody really go nowhere from here for real. Everybody be so stuck. And that's why I'm the one that's gonna change all of this, bro. One day I'm gonna give back to the community and do all types of stuff. Cause my grandfather, when I was younger, he uh he used to take me to the lady, the little children's shelter place, and I would meet this lady when I'd go with him and I'd give away like my toys and my clothes and stuff. And that's something that stuck with me because, like, the way that you see them kids' faces, like, you wouldn't understand how grateful those kids truly are because, I mean, granted, I didn't have everything I wanted. Nobody truly ever had everything that they wanted growing up. But I was blessed enough to be able to, you know, have toys and stuff like that from time to time and 
we'll go give them away to the uh to the people so my grandfather used to take me and that's something that i want to do if not if not like you know be able to provide a whole bunch of like stuff for the kids i would honestly like to one day as i get older open up a shelter for kids that are less fortunate and like that you know have been through a lot of stuff in life at a young age and had to grow up fast so they can get proper care and proper love the right way so they're not out here and when they get older having to learn the hard way i would much rather tell you guys something that i've went through so if i see you guys steering off into the wrong path i can be the one to kind of clean it up and try and help you out so you don't have to go through what i went through you can step over that and just completely maneuver around that situation because i promise you the the secondhand thoughts that you get when you do go outside and you do go do these crazy all, all these different things of course all right they're memories that's fine but what i'm really getting at is if i can help when the help isn't needed or asked for that's when i feel like it's my call like that's when i need to step in everybody just be lost and don't nobody need help for real it's not the fact of needing help it's the fact that being able to understand and comprehend help when it's been given to you and not help as in financially i'm saying help as in mentally i do one day want to open up organization to give back to the less fortunate kids because i was one of those kids and just confused and not knowing what to do and stuff like that and it just be cool to you know see that type of thing so one day that would be something to look forward to y'all i dead ass was just like straight spitting facts for a mini and then all of a sudden my camera just boom storage is full so i literally from the time i checked out all the way up until now it, everything is just gone and that was like 15 minutes long, bro. I was really going at it. That's crazy. That low key just blew me. Wow. We're on the way to Target. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. I'm not gonna let it blow me and then like that. I definitely was going, but it is what it is, bro. Obviously, it just wasn't meant to go in a clip, but. Let's just hope and pray that it doesn't do that again. Cause bro, that was crazy. They don't have the um they be violating in target. Is it wrong if I take the incense out and put it in a different box? I don't need this. I need something like this that's small, but I don't need this big one. And yeah, for the girls, um y'all put me on like what smells you know that you get from Target and stuff like that. Or what you like to get. This is crazy. Dry Target ring. Ain't no way. All right, we might can find some oil up in here. Hold on. <coughs> Nigga, what the fuck? Who would ever buy something like that? They need to throw their whole brand away. Life, lifelines, they need to throw their whole brand away. That was terrible. Ain't nobody bought them. Literally, literally, full stock. The lifelines. Don't nobody want that. Target literally don't have nothing in here, bro. Like, what type of trip? Let's see. Uh, bro, I'm so disappointed. Did they actually plan to go to Target and try and get something? The oils is literally just giving me the middle finger. Whenever you get stressed out or anything like that, just go eat. That resolves my problems. First, I finished the video. The first clip of the video, I finished it at TJ Maxx when I finished getting all my stuff. And I was talking, I was telling y'all about something. I'm going to circle back to that conversation in a few. Then I go to Target. Nothing's in Target. I didn't even have no oil. All the candles, bogus. Everything just washed right now. So right now I'm about to get me some food. I'm probably either getting Mexican or hibachi. 
I think Mexican, just because Mexican sounds better. Are they open? What's up, what's up? Did I come in the wrong way? Did I come in the wrong way? No. Oh, um, I just, yeah, just one. Queso dip for sure. But I'm gonna get back to y'all once I get my food. Hold on. I wanted to tell y'all. These chips and this little salsa going crazy together right now. See everybody business from right now. Yeah. Take myself out to, for lunch, man. Sorry, because one day, one day when I break out this isolation, it'll be more fun. But I have fun doing this type of stuff. I'll show you back once I get the food. I get groovy. It's like a little moment. That hoodie was too big. Hoodie had to come off this. I'm not a messy eater, but I'm not trying to be, um, you know, moving my sleeves and shit when I'm trying to eat. Okay, so go silly. You would have thought I came in here with like, I don't know, like you would have thought I would have came in here looking like I just got like beat up or something. How they was looking at me, they was like, with the camera and the tripod, they just like, yeah. Never seen a nigga holding a tripod. Chipotle. It says how Chipotle. Um, it's got like shrimp. <clears throat> yep. mm -hmm. Lady looking at me while I eat. That's your gas. But it's got like shrimp, onions, rice, pico de gallo. It's raining, bro. A rainy day vlog? I mean, rainy day, day in the life. I'm cool with it. Yeah, it's raining. They got their head down. It just randomly started raining. Hopefully, it stops raining when we leave.
Mm. I needed this, bro. I needed this. But for real, this time I'll circle back with y'all. Once I get the food. Yeah, okay then. I already prayed over the food off camera. You know, I gotta do all that type of stuff for the camera and do it off the camera because I just had the camera off when I got the queso. But, about to kill. Appreciate that, bro. Uh -huh. Enjoy. Appreciate it. That was weird. Like she looked at me, then looked away, then looked back and like smirked. So I'm like, like you're saying what's up, but I'm not like. Yeah. I'm gonna do a mukbang soon. But after I finish eating, I take y'all back with me, so I'm about to finish this, and then I don't know where we're going next, but I'm gonna finish this and then get back to y'all. The rain stopped too. I'm telling you. Appreciate you, bro. Are you done with the plate? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hit, but would you believe me if I told you I was still hungry, though? Got a little winery spot right here, too. Gas. Yeah, I'm still a little hungry, but it is what it is. Ooh. Successful trip, successful food, successful eats. I'm really disappointed that Target didn't have what I wanted. But let me go back to what I was trying to tell y'all earlier. So before I got interrupted by the camera, I was saying how I got this stuff for a certain amount of money and I was saying how like, I'm not no YouTuber that's gonna sit here and tell you to go spend this and go spend that on like materialistic things. I'm the one that's gonna promote you to save your bread. Go spend your money, go make your memories. But I was just saying like, I could have spent however much I spent on that, on one thing of underwear if I would have got it from somewhere else. Like save your bread, bro like be smart with it and i was also saying how my grandfather back in the day he used to take me to the children's center and um like where the less fortunate kids are like saint jude's and he used to take me over there and when he'll take me over there i'll give him i'll give away my toys and stuff like that like once i get older like, a year go by something like that you know you growing as a child and i mean i was blessed enough to have toys and have stuff like that growing up so um I had toys and stuff and I just give them to the less fortunate. But what I was really getting at was saying that one day I would really like to um, open up an organization, whether it's I build it from the ground up like a building or if I can like get into an organization to help the less fortunate kids because I was one of the less fortunate kids when it comes to things. And I wanted I want to like be able to help the kids that don't get everything and they can't and they just don't have you know they don't have all the tools that you need as a kid to be a kid like no kid should have to be worrying about you know when's the next time they can work or how, how soon can they work to provide for their family and I understand that though I completely feel I understand it I get it but I want to be able to put kids in a position and I know I can only do so much I'm only one person but I would really like to be able to put kids in a position to where that they can live a little bit more free because a lot of kids a lot of kids deal with a lot of stuff that people just don't know and it, and it shapes people like us like how you've been through stuff as a child and how I've been through stuff as a child it shapes us into who we are but it's a matter of if we gon' you know use the past trauma and the, like the hardships are we gonna use that as an excuse or are we gonna be able to grow from that and we're gonna be able to not use it as an excuse and trauma dump on the people and be like oh i went through this in the past so that's why i'm this way okay you went through this in the past and that maybe that might be the reason why you're this way but if you know that already you don't want to change it like bro it's okay to change like 
I don't believe people can change overnight, but I do believe if you really want change for yourself, you can change easy. Like, okay, not easy, but you can change. It takes a lot of time. I did a lot of stuff and I've dealt with a lot of stuff and it caused change. And one day it'll just hit, you just wake up. Like it hit me. I was just like, bro, something gotta give bro i can't live like this i'm tired of living like this i'm i'm distraught i'm i'm so down bad and when it clicks don't question it the only thing you need to question is what do you need to do next you need to get on your knees and pray or you whatever you believe in i get on i'll get on my knees and pray you'll know it's like one of those things when you just know like it's time for change like it'll hit you and you're like okay it's it's time to go you know you're basically like getting rid of your old self like i be seeing people jokingly talk about it they be like yeah um they about to bring out the old me this and that gang nobody cares for one nobody cares about that post that you talking about they're gonna bring out the old me nigga in reality you look lame bro we're getting older by the day we're growing up more and more by the day talking about bring out the old me who cares about the old you who cares not me not us just get right unlock a new you that's really what it is talking about oh yeah you about to bring out the old me i'm about to show you how i used to get down uh no you can show me how the new you has maybe you know a little bit of the old you in you but do better because if the old you if it's the past you can always do better you can learn from it so if it's the old you and it's something from back then Bro, you can do better from it. I don't care if you did everything right. You can still do better. No matter what, you can always do better. Every day, you can do better. And that's what I be trying to say. I can't stand when somebody say that to me or I see a post like that. I'm just like, bro, what? Bring out the old you. Make me go back to my old ways. Why would you even allow somebody to get into your head to make you even think like that? That's what I don't understand. How can you let somebody take you from a space of wherever you're at and bring you back to where you used to be? You got to stop being weak. That's weak to me. That's really why it frustrates me because I used to be like that. And that's the thing. Like when you see something and it really upsets you or it frustrates you because it reminds you of your old self or it reminds you of something that you used to do, an old habit. That's really the only reason why. Because I'm just like, bro, I used to be like that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're going to make the old me come out. Boy, if you don't sit your sit down uh, like, like bro we don't care about that like come on bro let's see something new show me something new show me how to make a hundred thousand show me how to make a million you talking about go i can go to this party tonight for what what am i what am i going to this party for i'd rather sit at the crib and twist my toes before i go to that party gang i ain't got it yet i'm not rich i'm not rich in the sense of my grandbabies 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 can be taken care of so until then we still going and we not ever gonna stop so that party can wait if the party pertains to me or something like that okay but that's not even happening it's nothing to celebrate bro i mean i am grateful though i'm very grateful for everything like we just hit a new milestone on here i'm super grateful for all ten thousand of y'all but it's nothing to celebrate like we hit the road and run. We hit the road spinning and running. We don't stop. Like, I knew I was going to hit this ASAP. I knew that. And the next thing is just going to keep going, bro. Like, I truly believe in myself. And the only way you can really go far is if you truly wake up and you look at yourself and you truly believe that you are that person. Like, I'm that guy or I'm that girl. Like, I'm really that. I'm really one of them ones. Like, when you wake up and truly believe and not just saying it with false hope, like, Oh yeah, I'm one of them ones. When I look at myself in the mirror, I know it. I look and I say, I know it. Like I know, I don't even say nothing. I just look at myself. I know I'm that guy. Like I know that for a fact. And if you don't believe that, you will not succeed because that means other people will be able to circle back to what we was talking about. If you don't believe that you are one of them ones, it's gonna circle you back to you saying, oh, you're gonna bring me back to my old ways. Cause you're weak, stop being weak. Don't nobody want to see that old stuff, bro. Show me the new. Show me the new. Out with the old, in with the new. Show me what is better about you. You wanna, you always want to go back in the past. Like, do not dwell on the past. I did it for so long, bro. And it took me forever to get here because I dwelled on the past. I would 
use it as an excuse like oh yeah i'm just i'm not feeling today because this happened three years ago but shut your ass like bro shut up shut up don't nobody want to hear that you know what i'm saying like come on shake right bro we not doing that so all I was really wanting to say was one day I do want to open up an organization to be able to help the less fortunate kids. But the whole conversation stemmed from being a child and going into adulthood and having your traumas from being a child on the on the way to your like weighing you down. So learn how to soak in what you feel. That doesn't mean necessarily hold on to it and use it as an excuse and dump it on the other people because. I was having a conversation the other day and somebody was saying how they're scared to like get like commit to someone because um like what they've been through and I'm just like bro what do I look like sitting here telling you why I can't be with you because I've been through this and I've been through that so it doesn't work and the thing is if you're really true and tapped into your emotions like the best thing for you to do that like I feel like it's the best thing for a lot of people to do this year is to tap into like their vulnerability of like their emotions and like truly feel how they feel and don't think that it's wrong to feel how you feel like and i was just like that's not right bro you don't you can't do stuff like that it's no way you should be scared to commit to somebody because of your past i understand we all done been heartbroken gang i got my heart broke like and i was i was messed up about that for bro for years i was i was hurt for a long time like tweaked out like can't even breathe without you and now it's just like bro take myself out to eat go treat my own self do my own thing like i'm gonna do my own thing and now it's just awesome bro we just doing we want what's best for us so that's what's going bro and i promise you, you work in the dark it's gonna come to the light and the dark always comes to light so whatever you're doing in the dark will show one day so just be careful with what you're doing and um when i'm in the gym i be thinking about when batman be like um they think i'm hiding in the shadows is it batman they think i'm hiding in the shadows but i am the shadows like yeah, you think I'm not working. You think I'm not getting to it. You think I'm not better than myself. You just, just because you can't see it for real. You're not really there. Like, you think I'm hiding in the shadows, but I'm actually the shadow. I'm actually the shadow. That that quote right there is so tough to me. It's fire. But, um, yeah, um, I'm on the way to... I gotta call the nail lady. I didn't even call her, so I'm gonna call her and we're gonna go and get these things fixed if she's got availability. If not, I'm gonna show y'all what I got right quick and then we'll probably continue to do some more stuff. Just gotta figure it out. But yeah, this is the day in the life, but you know, day in the life vent session. You know how we get down. We gotta get it in, so. But I'm gonna see y'all at the next stop. All right, this is just some quick, I'm gonna show you something real quick, real fast. Hold on, though. Flimsy. Digs me. Oh, I'm going to show y'all what I got. All right, so first, you want to um throw away your three to three month old plush drawers. Throw them away. You're, you're dirty. If you have those, throw those away. Um, I don't know how it is for girls, but I know how it is for guys. And even if you do smell really good and you're a very clean man, we know it's best to re-up. So this is a re-up. Throw away all the old in with the new. Throw away all the socks. Go get your socks. Can't go wrong with that. I might make one more run back to, to the store, but it won't be obviously the one I just came from. So you want to get your socks and stuff. You want to get you some... Calvin, whatever, briefs. I need to get some for bedtime. So I need to get some satin draws. Satin draws when you sleep or like, like non-cotton draws when you sleep is the fire ones. Like the Nike ones that y'all seen earlier with the red. I like how those feel, but I just don't like that colorway. That's childish. But like, I like this kind of red. This kind of red is, oh. This kind of red is cool. You know what I mean? Like, this red is fire. I like that red. And then, you know, your regular basics. But just this little, I mean, it's not even a crazy rib. It's not like I went and bought like 50 pair of drawers. It's just quick little six. 
I think it's like six in there or something. Six, seven. New tongue scrapers still get new ones. Just like anything, bro. Like, it's gonna... It comes a point in time where it's time to get a new toothbrush. Like, I change my toothbrush every month, though. I buy the 24-pack from Costco. It lasts me. And then you want to get your tongue scrapers. I'm gonna go ahead and take one out because... That has to go in the bathroom because we're gonna throw away the old one. Yeah, I'll probably give my little sister the other one just because it's two. I mean, why not? But yeah, so that's just a quick little run to the store, get the little re up and stuff. My little, the little monthly. I think you should do this right here every, bro. Honestly, you should you should run to the store and get stuff like this a good amount of times, bro. Cause them socks, bro. She don't want to see you when you take off your socks and it's brown stuff on the bottom. I understand we got bad days, but, and I understand not everybody is able, but bro, a pack of socks is like 10 bucks. Like, Brody, the socks got to go, gang. Like, you can get away longer with the black socks. I'll definitely, I'll definitely say that. But white, bro, as soon as, as soon as you get them good amount of couple wears in them, bro, it's time to get some new white socks. Because when you... When I knew I was a clean dude was when I sent a girl a picture of like where I was at, like what I was doing. And she was like, oh my God, your socks are so clean. I was like, what? Like, I'm like, I'm not even thinking none of it, but I'm like, damn, like women really pay attention to the smallest things. And that's what made me really like get on my, like get on my thing for real. Cause Everything I do is for women. I'm here for the guys, you know what I'm saying? But like, if it, when it comes to like, you know, like looking good, smelling good and all of that, I do it for the women. Like, the box make the world go around. So I'm going to do the best I can to be presentable to the box. So go get your socks, man. If you was thinking about going to get some new hygiene stuff, some new underwear, all of that, go get it now, today. So... I'm gonna throw away all my stuff. I'm really just gonna dump it in here and put it in the trash. So that's a little bit of that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But definitely wash your stuff before you put it in there. So you get new underwear, uh, just wash it and then boom, put it in the drawer. So you good. So, just so y'all know I'm not capping. And this is real deal, real deal. I'm gonna take out my sock box. Yeah. It's time to get rid of all of those, so. I take my shoes off in the gym sometimes. Look at how nasty. I take them off in the gym and um, I be walking around and the floor is obviously dirty, it's a gym. It's like, it's like got the iron house effect. So like, it's like mats all over the floor. So it's just black. Y'all seen my gym before. But yeah, so all of these gotta go in the trash. So we gonna throw all of these in here. And like it's cool to give it away, but like that's I think that's kind of rude. Like that's kind of mean to just you're giving away socks with lint and dirt all over them. So that's not really my cup of tea. So I ain't gonna do that. But yeah, just bust bust down the box, throw it in the washer, put it in the thing, and then you're good. I'm about to change again, cause um yeah, I just want to change. I'm super cozy. Don't get me wrong, you know, like I'm cozy, but like at the end of the day, we gonna get a little, you know what I mean? I really be secluded, not secluded, but I really be like on some dolo. Like I really be on some dolo type timing. So it's just like bring. The only thing is now is I bring the camera with me, so I show you what I do. It's just like. I don't know what I'm even trying to say, bro, but it's just different because I bring the camera now with me instead of just being by myself. I have you guys, which is really, really, really cool because I didn't know this was going to happen. And I'm going to say it every video. I appreciate it. Thank you. But I'm going to put all this stuff together, throw all this stuff away, get my little runs in, change, and then I'm going to circle back with y'all in a few. I decided I'm getting some vitamins right quick, but I'm not taking y'all in there because it's just like I'm about to run in and run out because it takes me like two seconds to get it. So it's no point in taking y'all in there. So I'm going to get it. But I'm going to still show y'all what I get, though. I'm back in the flesh. I'm back in Target. But um, this time I'm here because I thought of it when I was at the crib. I need eye patches. But I don't know which ones to get. 
This is actually sad, bro. This is the most dry target I've ever been to in my life. I had a tired eye, but I don't want this. We got this. But this isn't a brand I had in mind. Everybody in a mama is out here today though. Oh well, bro, listen. I don't mean to waste y'all time in here because I'm wasting my own time. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I'm at the crib now. It's about time to start, you know, winding down the days. The sun is about to start setting. But what I did want to show y'all is that I um I got the magnesium vitamins. I'm not the biggest vitamin taker, but I am open to trying it because, I mean, nothing's wrong with trying, like I say in every video. But I am about to take my hair out. So... Y'all will see that in the next video. For y'all that don't know, I do take chlorophyll, but I be on and off. Like, sometimes I'll be on it heavy, and then sometimes I don't be on it at all. But I do take chlorophyll, and um, chlorophyll do get you right. Um, I take it. You can drink it in your water, or you can take it like a shot. Normally, I take it like a shot. I haven't been on it in a minute, so I still got some in the fridge. I just stopped taking it. Chlorophyll is definitely fire. Um, it cleared up my skin like crazy when, um, in the summertime, um, I was getting like, I don't know, my skin was just squeaking, whatever, whatever. But the chlorophyll, it's, it's not the prettiest taste, but this, I got these magnesium, uh, vitamins, and I'm gonna keep y'all up to date with that. Um, I don't know when you take them. Oh, with a meal or a glass of water. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. But first things first, I'm about to, you know, clean up the crib, do all that good stuff, and shower. And then, so when I get out the shower, y'all will see me after that. And I might have my, I honestly might have my hair out by then. I'm tired of it. I'm t it was dope though, like I like it, but I'm already over it, so. But y'all will see me when I get out, cause I be done did everything I had to do. All right, so I'll change the plan. So I was gonna go, I was gonna just, you know, chill. Today was gonna be a little chill day, you know what I'm saying? I was just gonna kick it. Gonna go with these, but we gotta get the booty shorts first. I don't know, I really might not need the booty shorts. I'm not going crazy, but I'm definitely trying to go get a little burner in. Yeah, so switch of plans. We was about to shower, you know, clean. We'll do that later. We'll do that when we get home. This is a different kind of video, so it's a little bit different for me because it's a different approach because it's a day in the life. It's not a vlog, so it's like, I'm just taking y'all with me everywhere I go type shit. But I am taking y'all with me through the gym, but it's not a full workout day because it's my off day. It's like, bro, don't get me wrong. I do love a nice lazy day, but it's just like, I look at myself and I'm not, I'm not there. So even when I am there, it's not even no end goal in the gym. It's just get big. Like it's no other, it's nothing else. Like it just get big. That's the goal. There's no end goal. It's just get big and that's it. So I'm gonna get different colors. So y'all don't think I wear the same clothes to the gym all the time. And I'm gonna get different brands just cause I know y'all probably like, y'all might be like, this nigga ain't got no clothes. I don't, shit. I gotta get some. I only got a couple of these Under Armour shirts. I probably got like four or five. Pants, I don't have a bunch of workout pants. Shorts, I got that on deck. But like shirts and like, I need to, I wanna get into more of the, the crew neck sweater or like crew neck heavyweighted tee or just t-shirts or whatever. Uh, the sleeveless shirts is cool, but um, I really like, I go in the gym, I be fully clothed though, like head to toe. And then slowly, by the time the end of the workout comes, I'll take off all my clothes so I can see my pump. But normally I try to stay fully clothed throughout the whole workout because I get a really good sweat. And it's good to sweat because sweat out the food that you eat and then whatever other extracurricular activities that you may partake in, you um sweat that out too. To be real, the only way that I got this like 
got here in his headspace for real was I stopped hitting him, bro. I stopped. Like, I stopped. You know what I mean by hitting him, bro? I stopped knocking him down. Like, I done really, like, stopped. Like, when I did this whole, like, turning to become sober journey, that's when I started slowing down and I tried to, like, cut it all out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so if you want to really reach your full potential, like, looks-wise and body-wise, like, you got to stop knocking them down, bro, and you got to keep that. You got to keep it in your sack. And if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, but you got to keep it. You got to keep it all in. Even though it's hard, bro, I promise you, she is not worth that 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 release. I'm telling you. Just hold it. Hold it. I ain't bust nothing down in a minute. And I'm going to keep it that way. That's what we're going to try and keep it at. It be hard, though, because, hey, boy, hey, it be hard, for real. Because when I was younger, I didn't know no better. I used to just bam, bam, just I'm smashing. I'm doing all that. like, And I'm not no guy that's going to sit here and act all like, oh, yeah, I never did anything. Like, I, I'm a good guy. I don't have any. Oh, my God. He's a, he's a H-O. Like, oh, and what about it? I was, but now I got an empire. Can't even stand with me no more. So definitely circles back to everything I be saying. Just control your mind, hold it in. Even though you want to release it so bad, you wonder why you don't get no girls is because on the low, when you go into bed at night, you're going to finish yourself off and then you're doomed. You losing swag, bro. Every time you do that, your aura just don't hit the same and you might not even have no aura because you do it every day and all you like, you know what I'm saying? Just go live a little bit. Just some little words of advice from me, I guess you could say. But we still gonna show up because what else do we have to do? I'm telling you, when you get isolated, you you have to find ways to occupy your time. Um, and it's up to you if you're gonna occupy it in the right manner or not. Because it's so easy. And I did just say I was probably going to drink me some wine. That's cool, though. Like, at nighttime, nothing's wrong with that. You know, a li or just a glass. You know, some cool. But, yeah, man. So, I decided that I'm going to go to the gym. I'm doing all that pre-workout today. Like, it's an off day. I ain't about to turn it like that. But I am about to dry school my creatine. Emotions, rip out my heart just to get it refurbished. Bloody emotions, mine is corroding. I cannot focus. Bloody emotions, give me a heart, but I cannot hold it. Bloody emotions, I'm losing my motive. I'm feeling hopeless. Don't wanna go back to double cuts to fill me up. Shot down my conscience with no one to give me up. Seeking for love, I'm taking a different route. Love is a drug, and I got a deep. Come from a family, we battle addiction Telling you secrets that I never mentioned Never, ever, ever wanna go back To the time we never came in contact It's been eating me inside Fuck it, bury me alive It's wreaking havoc in my mind I put my heart out on the line For you All of the things I'ma do for you I'ma show you what I'm on, I ain't gon' say it I'm feeling for your body, I can't take it Body picture perfect like a canvas The thought of loving you was causing damage Cause you feed me words that made me feel established And if you don't mean it, I'll be causing havoc Bloody emotions 
Rip out my heart just to get it refurbished. Bloody emotion. I'm gonna be so honest, y'all, that wind actually was just like doing my ass, like doing my ass, trying to leave the gym, bro. Like, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I like, I would, I got impulsive to go, but like, I promise y'all, I don't work out like boo. But it's just, today's my off day, and I just impulsively got up to go. And then, like, my body was just sitting there telling me, like, nigga, chill, so. I'm gonna listen to that for sure, cause um, who about to go out bad? Not me. So, about to drink my shake, go home, make a little food, and then we gonna get the party started, so. I hope y'all like, this is like the first day in the life video with me, so I hope y'all do like this. So I see y'all in a little bit. So I was gonna do the whole shebang and you know, look oily right now like grease chicken grease but it's because uh, i'm trying out the slugging thing and see if it's gonna work so we're gonna see but that was a day in the life with me let me know if you want more day in the lives this was my first one i just wanted to try it but i appreciate all of y'all tuning in uh more of everything on the way for real for real but yeah, it's, it's late now. I done got cozy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really chilling right now. So, I do appreciate all of y'all tuning in. That was the first day in a life video. I hope y'all like it. Um, You know what the deal is. Like, comment if you're new. Subscribe. Keep showing the love. I appreciate it. I don't mean to look all glazed up like a donut and none of that, but that's just what's going on right now because, you know, I'm trying something new. If it's fire and it really works for real, it's my second day. If it's really like that, I'm going to put y'all on. And yeah, but I'm going to see y'all in the next video. So appreciate y'all.